morning. I got my hair cut. Can you see? Look good, don't it? Well, I didn't mean exactly say good morning because so far it's not a good morning for me. Yeah, and I get to that. Let's run that little intro, which I know I need a new one. Let's run it, and I get to, I get to what, what what this is about. Yeah. Now, I usually don't say foul language in my videos, as you guys know. But I am going to say one word, okay? So, for the little ears out there, turn me down for a second. Here it is. I know you got a job to do, but you don't need to be an asshole. Just saying. Well, let me explain. Back about maybe 30 minutes ago, I'm sitting in pal talk, like I usually do on most mornings, talking to some good friends, right? A knock comes on the door, and we're, we're not talking just a, a knock. Uh, well, maybe not the metal sound, but, you know, a police knock. I'm like, what the freak? So I'm getting up. I answer the door. And there stood, well, the energy man. I'm here to shut you down. I'm like, what? Now, see, the wife and I pay all bills every other Monday. We, it's, it's, we've been doing this forever. And that was one bill that got paid. So, I'm like, what? So, I asked them how much. Actually, I think I quoted how much I paid on my last bill. I said, I don't understand something. If it's not showing up, then I will be late. And you're still here to shut me down? He says, here, you got 15 minutes. Get it paid, sir, or you're down. Well, guess what? It was paid. And there should have been no reason for him showing up to my house to say this. No reason at all. I don't get it. This happened once before when we first moved in here. Yeah, they got the wrong address. and shut us down when they're supposed to shut the people across the street down. Yeah. Well, this time, they goofed up somehow and didn't show we paid, which we had to show proof we did. That old dicker of the program. Right? I haven't slept. I, I have no idea what's going on. And we got... We gotta go to the credit union. I'm gonna actually let this young lady that hasn't slept dry. I forgot to sleep and he's putting me in charge of a vehicle. Ah! I told her I should drive, but she's like, no! Me and the no! Car have a special bond. Him in the car just, he doesn't understand. I hope I don't have a special bond with the windshield because she's too tired to drive. This is gonna sound cruel and mean, but you know what? <laughs> it made me happy. I was walking through here earlier to bring the garbage out and I had a wasp. <whistles> Boom! Yep. Then it fell down to the deck, right? I stomped on it. It's a dead wasp now. Yeah! Okay, I'm in the back seat of my car because I want to see if I hear that hum back here. And... See if you guys can hear the hum. I'll put it up here a little bit. I don't know if the camera's picking up the hum, but we could definitely hear it. Yeah. Well, we got to stop at the bank, draw some money out, then we got to go. We got things. Just, just go with it. If it isn't bad enough that the car needs repairs, not only the driver's window don't work, now this window don't work. Yeah. There are people in that car and I don't trust them. Yeah, I guess you heard what she said. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now we did the I Dare video, right? Which, you know, you guys seen the pink goatee. <laughs> the other video I had planned was a competition between my daughter and I to see which one was the better driver. Yeah, if she won, you know, she's going to get something. If I won, I was going to get something. But we can't do that as long as my car is having issues. So that would be on the back burner. But anyway, I was talking to my daughter. I figured once a month, I'm going to do a dare. Yeah, just to spice up my videos. Next month, I have an all together brand new dare. And I let that go in the next couple days, maybe a week. I'll let you guys know what it is. And I'm going to challenge my buddy, The Blogging Life, to do the same dare. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got to go do this, do that, and I'll be back. Well, I'm back home. As you see, i got no bandana on today. Yeah, I'm sporting my nice short haircut. 
Uh, isn't it interesting how people can make mistakes and just basically ruin the day, isn't it? But in my case this morning, it was a computer problem. It was an error it made. Not us. Not the guy that came. But my whole thing of this was, did he have to be a butt? I mean, seriously. Let's say I was an individual that wasn't able to pay the bill, right? Which we had the bill paid two weeks ago. And it was no computer error. And I was an individual getting ready to get my power shut down. Let's say I am. Now, let me ask you guys something. If you're the guy that goes and shuts the power down, are you going to be mean and be a butthead to the person about it? Or are you going to try to be cool? Because once you tell them their power is getting shut off, stress builds up right there. Are you going to add to their stress? Well, first of all, I wouldn't want a job like that, you know? There are certain jobs in the world I definitely would not want. One, I can never be a repo man. I couldn't do that to somebody. That's got to be a hard job just alone. I can never go shut somebody's water off or electric off. Or even evict somebody out of their own home. And actually, the worst job of all, I can never be president. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't pay me not to be president. But with that being said, there's ways to handle things. Well, this guy wasn't going to give us any time to prove that we paid it. He's like, you got 15 minutes. And Angie's like, no problem. <laughs> we called the energy company up, told them what the situation was. They noticed then they had an error, apologized, and said it's taken care of now. The dude didn't come back. As I was hoping to come back because I was hoping to get an apo apology or something. He didn't have to be a butthead about it. But he was. If I ever was one of these people that had to shut somebody's electric down or water down, I feel bad for it first of all, and I sure in the hell wouldn't be a butthead. I will try everything in my power to keep it from happening, first of all. Number two, if I have to do it, I would definitely apologize. I wouldn't raise my voice. I wouldn't treat them any different. But some people are not me. And believe me, <laughs> I didn't like this guy this morning. Mm -mm. But I was cool. I was calm and I was collect, you know? I didn't raise my voice back, but I wanted to. I was more like, I was more in shock, if anything, because I was like, okay, I don't understand why you're here at my door. Um, what? <laughs> I was in shock. Then once we called and we figured out what happened, you know, they wasn't reading the payment on their end, then we're like, okay. But, you know, my question is, Aren't they supposed to give you a notice? Let's say I was behind on my electric. Aren't they supposed to give you a notice, at least? It's just been one of them days, guys. Our oldest cat had a seizure today, too, yeah. She's a very old cat, and that's been, it's just been one thing after another, so I'm glad today's over with. So, folks, that's been my day. What people will call a typical Monday, it was my Tuesday. Yeah, so needless to say, yeah, now you guys seen my video where I had the pink goatee, right? I'm sorry guys, I wanted to get, well, I tried to make it as pink as I could, I should have done the Kool-Aid, but you know what, it is what it is. I was actually going to get a pink bandana too, mm-hmm, but Elizabeth couldn't find it, so I didn't get that. Now, I figure once a month I'm going to do a dare, my daughter's going to give me a dare once a month, and I might choose one of my subscribers out there, or all of my subscribers, to do the dare. I'm not going to tell you what the next dare is for a couple days. So I want to make sure this is what she says. Now, I have no problem with this one. Mm -mm. No, no problem with this one. Because so I know it'll come right off. But I am going to dare. <laughs> I'm going to dare a few of my friends out there to do it. I'll let you know next couple days, okay? And the neat thing is, if I do dare the vlogging life, Adam... I can see Joel now. Yeah, Bubba. Good idea. <laughs> Sorry about the rant this morning. I'm usually not in that kind of mood. And I usually don't use foul language. I know the A word wasn't that bad, but usually I try to don't do that in my videos. But guys, it is what it is. Yeah, if Angie was here right now, she'd probably give me a dirty look. She hates it when I say that. But it is what it is, and I'm going to call it a day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe then it'd be a better day. Until then.
If you like today's video, hit that like button. If you're brand spanking new to my videos, subscribe. Sometimes we have okay videos. This may be one of them times. Until next time, come on, 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 come on. Let's just get out of here.